Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matty, my mascot. In this lesson, we're going to solve some problems that involve a remainder. First one is just a regular long division problem, so let's get with it. 6 goes into 7 one time, and 1 times 6 is 6, subtract, and we get 11. 6 goes to 11 one time, 1 times 6, and then subtract, and then 53. 6 goes into 53 8 times, right? We get 48, subtract, and 5. Okay, so that's our remainder, right? Now let's also remember how did we check problems that have a remainder? It's a division problem, so we're going to check it by multiplying. Take your answer times 6. 118 times 6, okay? And we do that, and in the end we're going to add the remainder. So 6 times 8, 48. And then here 6 plus 4 is 10. And then 6 plus 1 is 7. And then add. Add the remainder, and we get 713. So all is well. It checks, because 713 is the number we were dividing. See. Now into the word problems. There are 139 contestants in some competition. And they are divided into groups of five. Divide. Okay? What does the result mean? What does your answer mean? Okay? So I'm going to divide 139 divided by 5. 5 goes to 1, 0 times, and into 13, 2 times. We get 39, and it goes 7 times. And subtract. And 4. Okay, so what does this answer mean now? In this context, we have 139 contestants. We divide them into groups of 5, and we get this is not a number of groups, right? We get 27 groups. Now, what about this then? These four are the leftover contestants. Basically, you get 27 groups of 5, and there are four more contestants. And so if these need to take part two, then you have to have one more group. And the last group only has four people in it. So then you would say that you have 28 groups in total. Okay? So that's what these numbers and answers mean. A farmer needs to package 3,500 kilograms of strawberries into 8 kilogram containers. Okay. We can divide, right? We use long division and we get some numbers. What will the answer mean? Again, think about that. I'm going to divide 3,500 divided by 8. Okay, 8 goes into 35 four times. Subtract and we get 30. It goes into 30 three times. And then into 60, it goes seven times. And my remainder is 4. What do those numbers mean? Okay, we have this many kilograms of strawberries. The remainder is also kilograms. It is 4 kilograms of strawberries that are left over. And this number here, what does it mean? 437. It's the number of containers, okay? So the farmer gets 437 containers of 8 kilograms each. And then he also has 4 kilograms of strawberries left over. So what does he do with them? Oh, Matty has an idea. Oh, Matty says he's going to eat the strawberries. <laughs> yeah, or maybe the farmer eats the strawberries. Right, oh, Matty. Or maybe he takes some other smaller container and puts those 4 kilograms of strawberries into that container. See, there's different possibilities. You always have to check what might your word problem be asking exactly, okay? And then you have to decide what these numbers and answers mean in the context. A bag has 133 candies in five different colors. Okay, how many of each color should there be? If the amounts should be as equal as possible. You know, if you have a big bag of candies and there's five different colors, and you would want, you know, about the same amount of each color. So, again, we're going to divide. 133 divided by 5. What will my answer mean when I get it? 
5 goes into 13 2 times. And into 33 6 times. And the remainder is 3. What does that 26 mean? What does the 3 mean? The 3 is leftover candies. Okay, what does the 26 mean? It's how many candies of each color, okay? Let's choose five colors. Yellow, red, blue, green, and purple. So this 26 would be that there would be 26 of each color if it went evenly. Like that. But... 5 times 26, all of this added together, is not 133. It's just 130, because there's three candies still left over, so to speak. So if you need to have 133 candies in that bag, then you still have three more candies. And so you cannot make it exactly even, but you need to add one candy, those three candies, I should say, somewhere. So you would actually get 27, 27, 27, 26, and 26 of all those colors. Okay, is that Matthew? Oh, I thought he was going to eat the whole bag. Oh, okay, no, he just wants one of each color. Okay, that's okay, you can have that, okay. Well done with this lesson.